Hello friends, welcome. So in the previous video we worked with uh, Tinker and we created a post. We also modified that post, so we changed this is published to one. We worked with the uh, where method, also with the uh, find method to find one post. Now in this video I'm going to work with controllers and if I search here for Controller is called the basics, and with the basic controller we have worked before. So here we have the user controller. We created this route, and when we go to this endpoint, the user controller is going to handle that with this method in this user controller. It's going to be responsive for this route, and we give it a name also. We created another one for user and the with ID, and this show method is going to handle that one. And for example, if we want to create a user controller to create a user, we can create more uh, route, but it is a simple way to create one controller, also one route the source road and is going to handle all the CRUD operations for that. So if I go to the controllers, you can see here we have the classic controller, we have the single con single action controller, we have this uh, in invoke method in here, and we can create that by saying dash dash invocable. But I'm going to work with a resource controller in this video. So to create a resource controller, we need to say PHP artisan make controller, the name, and dash dash resource. And after we create in that, here we have the example of road resource, what I said. So because this uh, sing single road declaration creates multiple roads to handle a variety of actions on the resource. So let's go and create this controller, this resource route, and we can see. So in the terminal, I'm going to say php artisan make controller. I'm going to say post controller because I'm going to work with posts here. And say dash dash resource. Okay, the controller created successfully. Now, if we navigate to the controllers app, HTTP controllers, here we have the post controller. If I click here, now because we run this dash dash resource, we can see it's generated seven methods to so this controller. And here is the index method which display a listing of the resource in this case we are going to work with post so this method is going to display all the posts here we have this create method as this method is going to show the form for creating a new resource so for creating a post this is going to store a new post this store method this show method is going to display the specific post and here we have the id this show and this uh, index is the same as we have here so index and the show and also we have the edit which is going to show the form for editing the specific resource the update to update the resource and here we have also the ID so we can find that post and update it and the last one is the destroy which is going to remove that post so here we have the web routes and what I said we can generate and here we have a road resource example so let's do the same thing for our uh, post 
and I'm going to remove this two here and this one and uh, if I save and go here and say PHP artisan road list here we have all the roads we have right now we have the this get endpoint to the slash and the name of the road is home this is for ignition so let's leave it we have this admin slash users which is this admin slash users which have the name admin dot users dot index so admin dot users dot index which handle is user controller and the method is index so user controller method index. The same thing we have for the admin users ID. And we have this sanctum. So now if I say here road resource. Okay, that uh, resource we have here. And with a say slash post. And here I'm going to add that post controller we created. Post controller class. And hit save. And just we, with that now you can see if I run again the PHP artisan route list. Now I'm going to So this is was for before. We had the uh, admin users, admin users, and the ID, and the get, and this the slash one. Now we have the slash one. We have the admin users, and admin users ID, and with this road resource now is generating this post get post which has the name post index, we not give it a name, but it's going to generate this route resource. And now this post index is given a post index name and the method in the controller is index, so post controller index. This method is going to handle this uh, route post and post index name. So the index method here is this index is going to handle this uh, route we have a post and post here so when we post something to the slash post we have also the post dot store name and the store method inside the post controller is going to handle that also we have the create uh, get to get the single post so we have the post show name we have put and patch for updating that post destroy and post edit to get the edit for okay now if you don't want the all that then so if you don't want all them and you want for example only these two you can say is by creating as we have here but no we can just can say now only add an array here and we can add in this array the names so here we have post index and also i'm going to say show let's say here uh, index comma and show so I want only the index and show and if I save this and run again the PHP artisan route list now you can see here here before we had one two three four five six seven posts now we have only one and two and this is get post 
post index name and the post show name. Only these two we added here. Okay, friends. And to show you this uh, method is handling that one. So I'm going to say here die and dump up models and post call the all method the same thing we have done in the previous video and if i save and go now to this route so slash post so in the web route in the in the browser let's go to the post and here we have an array a collection with two items, zero, one. And if we open the first one, this is the post model, you can see. Inside the attributes, we have the ID, the title, the body is published and so on. And this is the ID one. If we open the second one, go to the attributes, we have this ID two. Okay, friends. So that's it for this video, how we can create the resource controller and also create the road resource, which is only one line of code and generating all the resources we need for the post. Hope you enjoy. If you like a content like this, please, please, uh, Subscribe to my channel and like the video. See you in the next one, friends. All the best.